said on the 36th. Um, I did a little work on it. I, I think I time lapsed this. I, I basically just you know taped up the car um, and sprayed the engine bay with primer. And now I'm kind of going through, um, smoothing out this the seam sealer. The factory seam sealer kind of looks like this. It's really pretty ugly. So I don't know. I'm just sort of smoothing it out and also cut off a bunch of brackets I'm not going to be using trying to make things as smooth and nice as possible without going too overboard um, so I'm just going to finish doing that I'm going to sand it and finish kind of smoothing out the things I want to smooth out I got some Bondo some body filler I've never, never actually used this stuff before so we'll see how that turns out So, I'm pretty much done sanding. I am gonna put a little bit more body filler. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more body, body filler right in this area. And a little bit right here. I don't really need to do that, but figure why not, I already have it mixed up. So, uh, then I'm gonna let that cure for a little bit. I'm gonna sand that part. And, um, and then it's gonna be time to spray some some primer so I'm feeling pretty good I went a little overboard I did not plan on doing this much sanding um, but I don't know if you just kind of get got more and more into it and ended up sanding pretty much everything I could get Just because I want it to adhere pretty good. And I did have to smooth these spots out. Here and down here, I think. Another one. And then back here, some brackets I cut off right here. And down here. Right here. So, that's it. I'm going to uh, mix up some more of this Bondo and throw it on there and back over to this is probably sandable right now so I think I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down and maybe I can get some uh, primer on this that'd be awesome a couple hours later I finished sanding now I have it set up with uh, I have a heater in there and I put this blanket over it try and warm up the uh, area that I'm painting. I think I said earlier that I ran out of primer 
Uh, so it's kind of stuck, and since I'm quarantining because of COVID, um, I had to rely on my old buddy Jay, and he hooked me up, and he got me a uh, primer very same day, and uh, dropped them off outside my garage for me. All right, let's go get Ralph some primer. Oh, maybe we should get you that. Yeah, like a, a bright orange. Nah, I just, oh, yeah, there you go, bright pink. Nah, just kidding. Let's get the uh, automotive primer. There we go, automotive primer. Let's get you two of these. Just got out of Lowe's. Gonna bring you your paint, buddy. All right, we're at Ralph's garage. Drops been made. See ya. So I really appreciate that, bro. It's nice to have people in the wild. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Primer's dried. Um, I'm gonna come through with the uh, the first coat of red. Uh, yeah, so uh, let me get to work. first coat right there and that's a whole can of paint I got three cans so I think I'm gonna use every bit of that I was hoping I would get two coats out of a can but that's kind of it is what it is I'll keep going with it all right guys so I, I ran out of paint basically I don't want to uh, I don't want to go any further until I get the paint this paint I ordered online so uh, I ordered it again, and it's not like something coming from like Amazon next day or nothing like that. So I gotta wait. Probably gonna be here midweek. Hopefully, I'm hoping midweek. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and set the hood back on here, and then the BMW is gonna go outside, and uh, I'm gonna move on to another project for probably today and tomorrow. But uh, I am gonna put this video out. Um, 
half painting my engine bay. It was a lot of sanding. Matt from Boosted Apex, uh, thank you for motivating me to get rid of the seam sealer. It does look a lot better. I didn't like all the sanding, but it does look a lot better. So that's going to be it for, for this episode, guys. I'll come back once I get the paint. I'll come back in and uh, hit it with probably two more coats of red and then it's going to get clear coat and then the real kind of prep work get it the engine base situated and ready for the engine to sit in there i cannot wait to get this engine in that engine bay it's going to look so good in there um, i'm pretty excited and motivated to get it in there and and really start buttoning things up and seeing if we can start it i won't be able to drive it for a while because i don't have a drive shaft um, but i would like to start getting things situated in here uh, and really start to see some progress on this car. So thanks for watching. I appreciate all the subscriptions uh, Last I checked I was at like 190 subscribers So if you're watching and you're not subscribed do me a favor hit the subscribe button I really appreciate it and uh, hopefully we can get up past uh, 200 subscribers. I'd be stoked Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later